Yummy. To make the cereal box more palatable, Jamie's whisking it up into a cardboard smoothie. Kind of reminds me of high school for some reason. Ah, Jamie's school days, practicing football, growing facial hair, and drinking cardboard. But his recipe gets stranger still as he turns it into pellets. Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Are you replicating the intestines of some small furry animal? Here, have some. Have you tried it? Yeah. You know, it tastes uncannily like cardboard. <laughs> Just thought some sound effects would help that sequence. As Jamie prepares more of next week's dinner, Grant's helping Adam with something much more energetic. As it turns out, there is a way to tell how much energy is contained in a food, and that's by using a calorimeter. This can get pretty complicated, but I think we should be able to find or make something that's pretty simple that will get us in the ballpark. One internet order later, and Adam's all set to get right in that ballpark. Huh, that'll help. But exactly how does this calorimeter work? I burn it underneath a pot full of water. If I know exactly how much water I have and what temperature it was when I began burning the food, by the time it's all done burning, I measure the temperature, and that tells me with an equation what the caloric content of that food was. To check it's all working, Adam's going to run a test with some candy whose calorific content he already knows. I've got 100 milliliters of water. Mm -hmm. I've got my candy, which I know to be 80 calories of candy right here, and I'm hoping when I burn it that my figures show roughly 80 calories of energy expended. That's the theory, but there's a technical hitch. No, oh, this is no good. I can't get the candy lit. The candy just won't catch fire, which means Adam can't calibrate his calorimeter. I'm gonna move on to something else. Putting together a calorimeter is the work of a couple of minutes. Making it work? A lifetime. <laughs> So far, it's hardly a rip snorting success, but Adam's gonna plow on regardless, starting with his mom's nemesis, a commonly available cereal. Look at that. And remarkably, it works. Adam's lit exactly one gram of the breakfast booty, and it's slowly heating 100 mils of water. And... We're out. I'm gonna start reading the temperature now, even though it's gonna take a couple minutes to reach the full temperature. The water temperature went up by 10 degrees, which after some complex calculations, means that one gram of cereal equals nine calories. Can the regular run-of-the-mill cereal box do any better? It smells like poo. Well, no. After it's burnt completely, Adam does more sums to find that the box has 20% less energy than the cereal. So what does that mean for Adam's mom? At this point, mom is wrong, but mom got a lot closer than I would have pegged. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that the cardboard box would show only 20% less calories than the cereal. With the scales tipped in favor of the cereal, it's time to start banqueting on box. Next is to look at what the cereal box and the cereal are actually comprised of, what kind of proteins, fats, amino acids, whatever might be in them, we need to actually break them down and see what in there might be available to the body. To do this nutrition test, an eating competition had beckoned for the Mythbusters. But with low calorie cereal box on the menu for one of them, it seems they've turned chicken. My original plan was that you'd eat cardboard for a week and I'd eat some sugary cereal for a week. It seems kind of ideal for both of us. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I, I think we'd both cheat. I think I know you'd cheat, and I'm pretty sure that I would end up cheating too. Well, not only that, but I'm actually not just concerned about the uh, nutritional value of the cardboard, but the other things that are in there as well, like uh, you know things I wouldn't want, maybe from the, the, the ink or something like that that might be bad for you. So the human lab rat experiment is canned. Jamie was scared by potential toxins in the cardboard. Adam by the chance Jamie would cheat. So instead, they're going to do something more scientific. 
No longer are they going to be guinea pigs, but chemists. It may not look like much, but it's science. They're going to test the cereal and the box for fat, protein, starch, and sugars. Oh, that's lovely. It's like a sugary mash. And for each test, they've got a control to see what a positive result looks like. First up, they're probing the fat content. In this one, all we do is dip a test strip into each of the liquids for five seconds. Starting with the control, some fat-rich olive oil. A positive test will turn the pad deep red. So that's a positive test for lipids. OK, so our control is good. Next up, the cardboard box. It doesn't seem that there's any fat in the cardboard. So remember this, kids, cardboard is low in fat. But with the cereal, there is a hint of red to the dipstick. So there's a bit of fat in the cereal. A little bit. Cereal? It's 1-0 to the cereal. OK. Starches. In the iodine starch test, the control gives a positive dark right. blue hue, a color slightly replicated by the cardboard, but much more so by the starchy breakfast bites. Oh, yeah. Cereal, positive, lots. Yeah. Meaning it's 2-0 okay. to the cereal. Next up, the sugar test. And this one requires a bit of microwave action. What the hell is going on in here? Here's the original stuff with cardboard in it, and it looks exactly the same okay. color as it did. This is the cereal, and it's if it has a greenish tinge or a yellowish tinge, it indicates the presence of sugars. Finally, the protein test makes it a myth-busting 4-0 to the cereal. So there's no protein in the cardboard. And to check all their results, Adam looks at the box information. Why didn't we just look at the darn box in the first place? The reason we have to do this is because while it does give you some of the values of the nutrients in the cereal, they have neglected to put any of the values of the nutrients in the cardboard box. You mean they actually don't intend that we eat the box? Da, da, da. After some sugar-induced silliness, it's time to wrap this one up. Well, breakfast cereal versus the cardboard box it comes in, what are our results? Well, on the calorimeter test, the breakfast cereal won. It had 22% more calories than the cardboard box. What about testing for specific nutrients? Uh, eh. Cereal won hands down in that test as well. Mom, I'm sorry, but you were totally wrong. That's completely busted.